to the ground. That's to prevent moisture melting in the early stages of the fire and putting it out. But also, to make sure the fire lights well, I need to insulate it from the ground. And for that, I've split some wood. And I'll just lay that in there as a bed to begin with. Lighting fires when it's this cold can be difficult. The secret's good preparation. To start with, I've split some nice dry standing spruce. That burns really well. I've collected some dead dry birch bark. That'll help get the flames built up to start with. And to make those catch properly, some nice dry spruce twigs. Most important of all, you keep your tinder dry and warm. The best place for that is inside your clothing. And you only get it out at the very last minute. For tinder, I'm using this. This is lichen that I pulled off the trees earlier. Fire is great for morale, but it's important to have enough firewood so that it doesn't go out at the coldest point in the night. For cutting firewood, that's thirsty work, so before I go to get any more, I'm going to put some snow on to melt. 